Hello everyone. Today um, I'll show you um, my way or rather an, um, quite an easy way of making a simple uh, peacock feather kind of a pendant. Uh, for that you'll see that I have actually a slab of clay that's been um, that's been rolled out, flattened, neat and everything. I have, an, I have an X-Acto knife over here and I would prefer cutting the shape out freehand. And um, now because this is only an imaginary um, rather it's it's not I'm not trying to replicate exactly how it looks it's it's a little bit of imagination and a little bit uh, and you take a little of little bit of a cue from the uh, from the actual from the actual bird so you know what I would do is I would kind of uh, it's it's always going to be straight so that the knife is you know facing nice and straight downward if it goes this way or this way you know your cut is your 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 cut on the sides are not going to be straight and they're going to be bent either ways so you don't want that kind of a piece so what i would do is i would just hold on make sure your piece is nice and stable i would do that so this gives me one straight cut it's it's not cross it's not it's it's absolutely straight and it's a neat cut and I would do the same thing, but I would just go a little more broader because I don't want something which looks exactly the same on both sides. It's a, you know, it's a, it's a feather. So you want it to look a little bit more, um, you know, flowy and uh, more natural. What I would do is I would prefer to get taking off because this kind of a sharp tip, there is a good chance that it might not even survive in the kiln. It might just, you know, remove and t break off probably. So I'll just cut off a little bit of that. I would maybe make use of that portion as the um, say if to put the hook or something so I have something like this this looks more like a leaf now but in in my opinion you know I would still pull it off as a feather <laughs> so once that's done I would just go on with the um, knife and just flatten it again before I start working on this If you see, I think I, I, I really like the shape because it's got a very natural free, free flow and every time I cut it, obviously it comes out different. So, you know, that's the beauty of it. So I have something like this that's ready. Uh, it's almost a very flowy, neat cut uh, piece over here. Now, uh, obviously I would want to change the entire texture of the piece. Starting from the uh, from the center, obviously. Now, if I consider this as the base, I would start from here and move on this way. So that's exactly what I'm going to do because I'm going to put the hook over here. So if you see that there is a line that's formed there. Now, I'm not going to be looking for very, um, you know, close lines or something like that. I'm just going to go on to put lines like this. If you see there is a textural difference that's happening to the entire leaf now what you would want to do is also mark a couple of lines just so that you have you have a path that you can follow otherwise what will happen is this might just keep going here and here and here and you might just lose track of where the lines are kind of going let it all be directed towards the center I think textures are great. I think they are a they are a beautiful way to um, work on. I think a, a substance like terracotta, yeah, rather a material like terracotta. Sorry. When you change a texture like that, you you know you're almost you're creating a different surface for yourself, and that's a it's quite experimental. isn't it you see this how this particular texture is and that's the beauty of it you know that it's it's a it's a naturally done made up texture and this is what you get out of this now um, what I usually do there are two ways I kind of work on this now either I leave it at this or uh, obviously when I leave it at this what I mean is I fire it and then I paint it uh, in the peacock 
peacock shades rather peacock colors of metallic blue metallic blue metallic green and a little bit of dark blue a little bit of gold and all of that looks looks absolutely stunning um you can also obviously use a cutter at this stage um you know if you have a cutter say like this um i think this might also help you get a certain design a certain pattern in the center like this it in the lap I just want to make a make an impression like that I just want to make an impression like that and obviously at this stage what you can do is use your um, refill or whatever it might be or even a cutter as a matter of fact even if you have say a cutter like this you can probably use a cutter like this and try to make this kind of a curved curved uh, line that's also fine or what I would do is probably go on with the pen or rather this is a plastic needle you can also use a pen refill and do the same thing I would just Oh, one stroke line just repeat that here you'll have something like this now obviously um, you know the um, the line over here can basically go a little bit more look a little bit more blended and I would prefer doing something like this more like you know dots giving it a little bit more of an ornamental kind of an feel okay this is done so i have something like this now uh okay you know what i think i'm gonna do the same thing around as well it gives a it gives a really um you know very nice unique effect you can do the same thing with your uh, ballpoint pen refill as well this is just a plastic needle I have here so that's that and those are the textures that you can basically work with so I've, what I've done over here uh, just to start off with is I've, I've given a freehand um, cut I have then um, textured the whole thing with the help of a knife then um, you can it's it's very light texturing basically that I have done on top of it but it looks great it's kind of changed the entire texture of the piece um, obviously then what you can do is try and make it um, rather beautify it by making another set of um, an internal petal and this kind of a line made with a made with the help of a cookie cutter a small one which is like a crescent shaped one and um, It'll be good if you can actually add one more, uh, which I am kind of thinking of doing right now. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I am able to. Just that I won't be able to join this line because there's very little space between here. So what I would do is I'd probably go somewhere here. Just a light line first because I need to see if it's going to look good. I think it's going to look good. So what I'll do is I'll just make it a little bit more deeper as i'm doing this you'll see that i'm actually removing clay from the top surface so just keep make sure you're constantly cleaning off that sorry because you don't want shabby work on your piece so just just blow off the excess i'm just doing this so then I'm able to blow off a little bit of the excess clay. Like I said, this is an imaginary, um, you know, piece. Um, just, I think it'll look gorgeous when it's just painted. Isn't that simple and really nice?
and you can um, obviously you know you can you can use like stick beads or um, any kind of beads that you want uh, to beautify this I have some stick beads here start off with the center you can um, put anything you want by the way you can put like stick beads or gunguru beads or anything of that sort actually just stopping with these three look quite pretty just cut out a u pin as well in here make sure it's in and then I really hope you like this it's a simple way to make a, a, a peacock kind of a feather um, what, what would ultimately look very pretty once it's painted um, so give it a shot everyone hope you like it if yes please like the video and subscribe to our youtube channel thank you so much for watching everyone thank you